Hey everyone, welcome back to our restoration project. And as you remember from last episode, we got a lot of work done on the engine. And I did notice when I was watching last episode that there was a coil in the performance shop. So I went ahead and bought it. And let's put that performance coil in there instead. There we go. And we did miss this belt. So we're gonna get the belt in. And the radiator fan, we need radiator fan B. So we just need that to finish it off. So fan, radiator fan B. Pop that on there. And that should finish everything for the engine. Which means, that means that Unless we're missing some parts, we are ready to do the tires and start working on the body. So, for the tires, let's do the tires before we work on the body. So, originally, what we pulled off the vehicle was this rim Atlanta. And looking at it, looks like a nice rim. But they're only 15 inch. I think we're going to buy, let's buy the same rim. But let's make it a much bigger tire, much bigger uh, wheel, I mean. So we're going to go to, and uh, don't forget we have to do the transmission as well. We'll get that in a minute. We're going to go find this Rim Atlanta. Rim Atlanta. There it is. Okay, so we're going to buy some Rim Atlantas. Let's get, let's go 20 inches. I don't know how big we can go and still fit in the wheel well. Let's try, let's try 20 inches. We're going to get four 20 inch rims. And then we're going to need some tires. Let's go with race tire or sport tire. Let's do, we'll just do plain old race, well not plain, but let's do race tires. We don't need the uh, white lettering. We'll do race tires four of them. They're going to have to be 20 inch. And it's a older style muscle car, so let's make the width, let's pump up the width a little bit. About 255s. And I'm afraid if we make the profile too small, it might look weird on our car. A 40. 40 profile. Alright, let's buy those. Okay, and we will get those on the go while we put in the transmission. So first we have to come over here, and we have to put together our tire with our wheel. Alright, while well that's doing that, we need to finish off the transmission in this thing. So it looks like one's done. Let's get that off there. Get another one on the go. Multitask here. Let's get one balancing while we're at it. Okay. And we need to fix up. We just had to put in that transmission. I think we had bought all the parts. We're going to find out in a second. Oh, yeah, we had our quality flywheel. That's right. Quality flywheel. Clutch plate. Pressure plate. Buy a transmission? No, we didn't buy it. Oh, we did. Yes, we did buy it. Perfect. And then I believe the drive axle is the last thing we have to put on. Did we buy a new starter? No. So I know we need a starter. And let's just check if we need the axle. We have the axle. Let's put the axle on. So we just need the starter. The V8 starter. Alright. Get a V8 starter. Starter V8. Alright, put that on. Okay. Let's go check our tires. Get another one going. This one's balanced. Let's balance another one. Alright, and let's see, we've got
got our transmission. So we just need our tires. This one's done. Get that one off there. And there was one more to do, I believe, right? Yep, last one. That one's balanced. wait on those two. Alright, so now we want to take everything that we can off of the body. It was missing a lot of body parts to begin with. Let's get rid of that bumper. Let's get rid of that license plate. Let's get rid of those headlights. Let's pull that door off. Let's take out all the windows. have a thing. And let's take out that steering wheel. So we can go here. Alright. Don't think there's anything else we can get off the body. Okay. Check our tires. One last wheel to balance. <coughs> and we'll be good to go. Out. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the tires on it so we can. We're going to get off of the lifter so we can get a better look at it as we work on the body. So let's get our last tire. So let's put these tires on. I hope, I hope they fit. If they don't fit quite right, we're going to have to buy new tires. But let's see how they fit. See, does that look right? Let's see. Yeah, it fits. I'm not sure if I like how it goes right up there, but it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's get them all on. tires on so we should be able to move the car now. Let's move the car to entrance A. <coughs> so now we can see it with the tires on it. Now it'll look a lot better once we actually fix up the body. Okay so we need to get the body repair tools I think. I've actually I've never actually done this before because I know there's tools somewhere the welder, move the equipment to, well we have to put it on the lifter to do it, okay, the car's got to be on the lifter. In 2015 you didn't have to have the car on the lifter, you could just work on it wherever it was. Alright, so let's move the car back to, let's move the lifter B this time. Middle. Okay, so we're going to get our welder, move it to car lifter B. And let's see how we do this. Use the equipment. Do I want to repair it? Yes. There, so we've repaired the bodywork you can see. It's weird how we just, you know, click a little button and boom it's fixed, but that's you know, that's probably a week's worth of work <laughs> to considering the condition the body was in. Okay, so I've already had I've already bought um, the replacement parts for the let's put this back. I've already bought the replacement parts. Uh, the body parts, so we can go into body repair mode, assemble, assemble mode, yep. Yeah. And I should have, in, I should have already bought all the pieces that we need to fix everything. So we need a right headlight, we need a fender, bumper, new headlights. They put that license plate back on there. We're gonna. We're going to put a different license plate on it. 
And let's put that. We need a front window, side mirror, left window, left body window, rear window, trunk. Even the license plate has rust on it. We're going to replace those in a second. And then, of course, we're going to need to paint it. Okay, so I think that's all the body parts. Let's get that license plate off there. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to remove the license plate. Okay, we're going to buy our own license plates. Okay, so let's go to the shop. <coughs> uh, let's see. License plate shop. And, well, it makes sense for me to get the... If I can find it. A, B, C... There. Makes sense for me to get these. Custom. Let's see, what do we want to say? I don't know. How about... Bear uh, Gouda? I don't know. Sure. Did I even spell it right? I have no idea. Is it one R or two? Bear Gouda. I don't know. We'll go with that. Might be wrong. I'll change it later if it's wrong. Alright, so now let's put our custom license plates on. That one. All right, and one on the back. Oh, I have to buy one for each. I didn't realize that. I thought it gave you a set. So you have to buy. Oh, I had to say more than one. I get it. Okay. Gotta buy another one. Technically, in Florida, we don't have license plates on the front, but. I think the car is going to have to have a license plate on it just to say it's done. So we'll put one on there, but you know, technically in Florida we don't have front license plates. Okay. So it's looking, starting to look pretty good. Let's take it to the paint shop. So we're going to move the car to the paint shop, which is, I know I can find it here somewhere, there it is, paint shop. And let's see what we're going to do to it. Whoa. Okay. I was thinking... Now that's the factory color. The factory color looks horrible. Let's see. Let's do... I was thinking something along the lines of... Not a super bright red, but let's see. Or do we want to go black? Let's just check what kind of liveries. Camera. Hmm. So if we had the car red, what would that look like? Oh, I can see we can have a black... Oh. I think we want to go with... I don't think that looks too bad. That's not too bad. All right, let's do it. We can always change our mind later, right? Let's just do it. Wait, we might be spending more money because I might want to change the... No, I'll give metallics probably. Though. I don't think I want a matte, no. Pearl really shines. Chameleon. 
Hmm. Chameleon or metallic? Do you see any difference? I don't see any difference. Don't see any difference. That's good. Anyway, back to Gratch. Okay. Move cart to the. Alright, now we're going to move it to the dynamo. No engine oil. We might want to put some engine oil on it. Engine oil. Let's put a little engine oil on it. Sure. Yep, we're good. Alright, we are ready to fire this car up. So we're going to move it to the dynamo. Move car to dynamo. That's right next door here in my shop. Close that door. Alright, let's see what those improvements do. Before we do this, though, we better check the car status. Oh, we didn't even put an interior in it. We don't want to do this yet. Hold on. Move the car to go to entrance B. We're not technically even done the car. We could fire the engine up, but we're not done. Alright. Let's get our interior in here. So assemble interior and interior assemble and I should have the parts already in stock. Gouda bench. I picked out some nice seats. And a steering wheel. Dodge steering wheel. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, wrong button. Okay. And I know it technically doesn't need it, but just to be sure, let's use our detailing. Where'd that go? Detailing. No, that's tools. Where's the detailing thing? Is this it? There it is. Move it to B. This is probably overkill. But let's just make sure the interior is all cleaned up. See what it actually looks like when we sit on it. Okay. Nice and clean. Alright, now we can take it to the dynamo. Move car. Dynamo. Now, let's see what we get out of this. Check our car status. Now, we're missing a part, obviously, because we're at 95%, or there's something I didn't fix. But we're almost at 100%. You can see our car value. Remember, we bought the car for about, what, 14000 You can see our, we've made the car value $73,000. Alright, the factory engine was 425 horsepower. I think we're going to beat that because we put some custom parts. So let's just go through here and see what did we miss? Why are we missing that 5% on the body condition? Right right body window A. We're missing a body part. Right window right body window A. Okay, so we're going to go to the body shop. Body shop. We're going to type in CUDA and we're looking for right right body window right body window A. I believe it's this one. Alright, and this is the left side, so it's going to be over here. It's this one right here, isn't it? Alright. Uh, symbol mode. It looks like I have one in my inventory anyway, so just forgot to do it. Okay, so now we should be at there. Now we're at 100% across the board. So 425, 490, I think we're going to beat that when we actually run it through the paces here. 
So let's see if we can beat our 425, 490. How that almost looks. That's silvery. I thought it was white. That's kind of a silvery kind of color. I like it. I like how our little project turned out. If you remember what it looked like when we started, it was a heap of junk. All our work paid off. Now there's one more thing we can do with it. There is one more thing we can do with it. It is kind of cheesy, but we can take it to a it's a drag strip or speed track. I gotta think. Or do we want the test track? I don't remember which one exactly we want. I think it's the speed track. We can go to the speed track and we can see just how fast it can do a quarter mile and stuff like that. times I don't I wonder if, I don't think we're gonna hit 200 miles an hour I don't think we're gonna hit that but here we go Let's see what kind of speed we can That's not bad for my first restoration project. I don't think I'm going to sell this car. This one's going in the garage. And we're going to keep this one. So, it looks like it already parked it in the garage for me, I think. Parking, or not, where's my car? Where's my car? Oh, no, it's still in the dynamo. All right, so we're going to take our car, put it in the garage, and we're going to keep this one. We're not selling this one. So we're going to move car to our parking garage, and we're going to keep it in our parking garage. Alright, and now I can work on another restoration, but I think that's going to wrap it up for this series. It was fun doing. I hope you liked our restoration project. Take care. Bye.